Hi everyone. I wanted to show you a demonstration of this new circuit that I've built. I call it the Pulse Plus circuit and uh, this is how it works. Here we have a voltmeter that's just showing you the input that I have to the enhancer. There's a O2 sensor simulator that I've built and so this simulates the output from an O2 sensor. When this unit is off, the pulse from the O2 sensor, the signal from the O2 sensor, goes straight through this box and out again. So the computer sees what the O2 sensor is putting out. When the enhancer is turned on, you'll notice that immediately the voltmeter shows the output as being 0 0.05 volts higher than it was with the enhancer off. That's because the signal is now being processed uh, and to show a higher pulse. You can adjust the pulse with this knob to be approximately, approximately 0.1 volt higher, 0.2 volts higher. Now, you could still measure the input on the back of this enhancer box and I'll do that and you can see that it's still pulsing what it was before it's just the output is pulsing higher and when it's attached to the vehicle when the computer sees the higher pulse rate the higher voltage the higher signal it'll immediately start to lean the mix and the voltage display here if you had it hooked up to the car would go back down to about 0.9 and the input voltage would actually show lower. That's because the uh, computer is compensating for what it believes to be uh, not enough oxygen in the exhaust by leaning out the mix. Right here we have a switch that controls the hydrogen generator. It's a kill switch. You can kill the hydrogen generator if there's a problem. If you have <clears throat> a, uh, a short somewhere, if you run out of water, or if your amp draw runs away. And uh, on this side, we have a map sensor enhancer. It's the typical voltage-based map sensor enhancer that removes voltage from the signal going to the computer. And that's it. I'll see you next time.